From the Salesforce Tower in downtown San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Accenture Tech Vision 2019, brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in the Accenture Innovation Hub, downtown San Francisco, Salesforce Tower. The party is just getting started. As you can see behind us, had a ribbon coat ribbon uh, cutting ceremony this morning. We're excited to be here for the Accenture Technology Vision Awards given later today, but we're excited to have our next guest, first time on theCUBE, Ashley Miller. She's the Director of Innovation, West Region for Accenture. Ashley, welcome. Thank you so much, glad so, to be here. So all these toys are uh, for you to play with. They, they are, we, there are so many interesting things to play with here, so many incredible people. It's an incredible place to be. So it's a great aggregation of, of kind of a bunch of satellite offices. You've got three stories of, of really kind of active, engaging labs. I wonder if you could say, I guess you had a soft opening a little while ago. Tonight was the hard opening. What are some of the ways that customers actually come in and use this facility? Yeah, um, we actually have five floors. We have the 31st through 35th floor, five entire floors with several of those floors dedicated solely to innovating with our clients and collaborating and co-creating with our clients. So this is the official launch, the, um, the big party opening us officially with the ribbon cutting, but we did have a soft launch over the summer and in fact we've been hosting many clients each week. It's, it's really incredible, the, the demand is quite high. Um, people are very eager to come in and explore and learn as well as define strategies and actually co-create solutions. Um, here with the experts, so it's it's exciting. So how so they come in small teams, big teams? They come for a day, a week. What are some of you know kind of the standard offerings, if you will, yeah. to, to to come and learn about innovation? Yeah, all of the above. We host uh, clients as well as you know partners in the community, uh, students and educational groups, um, people who want to come in and learn about emerging technologies and their potential impact to business to society. Um, as well as multi-day and multi-week sessions where we're actually road mapping solutions, building new ideas together and actually co-creating prototypes and solutions um, to solve those, those challenges. Right, so Paul talked a little bit earlier about your innovation architecture. So right. everybody wants to know, how do I innovate, especially in a big company, it's, it's not necessarily easy. And you guys have a bunch of, of assets in play. And then as I understand it, the hub is the location where you bring all those assets under one roof. That's exactly right. This hub is a flagship hub where we have every element of our innovation architecture represented. So Accenture has this architecture to help both ourselves innovate as well as our clients and our partners. Um, so clients and partners can come here and access the incredible breadth of our experts, designers, engineers, builders. So here in our flagship hub, we have teammates from our research organization that's authoring points of view and helping others understand what does the future look like. Uh, we have teammates from our labs, our R&D organization that's actually looking at these cutting edge technologies, quantum computing, connected devices, artificial intelligence, and understanding and using these technologies, developing prototypes to test and learn and understand their potential value. Um, then we have teammates who can actually build prototypes and solutions, um, both connected digital devices as well as physical devices. Um, we have teammates in our ventures group who are partnering with the ecosystem of universities as well as startups as well as big um, ecosystem platform partners and bringing those teammates in and using their solutions to help co-create and, and ideate new opportunities for our clients. And then of course, within our innovation architecture, we also have our delivery centers. So once you identify the really game-changing opportunity um, and you've tested it and you understand that it's a viable solution, well then you can scale it more cost efficiently through our delivery centers. Right, so I know it might be asking you like to pick your favorite kid, but 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 share, I mean, what is one or two of your kind of favorite things that that, that is here in this innovation hub yeah. that you just think is just cool beyond compare? It is asking me to, to pick my favorite kid. <laughs> Um, there's so many incredible things here, but I can tell you what we have on display tonight. Um, we have Mary Hamilton, the head of our labs organization, along with Teresa Tung, who's a managing director within our labs, and Ruman Chowdhury, who leads a practice of ethical AI, 
talking about the future of human and robot interaction, what does that mean for teams when they're augmented by robots? How do you do that in a, in a fair way and in an ethical way so that you're using the, the human's potential as well as the robot's potential? Um, we have Mike Redding, the head of our ventures team. We have him here along with some of our teammates from research, Justin Herzig, and they're, they're talking about the power of blockchain to create um, transparency and, and accountability within supply chains, um, as well as talking about some of the power of, of some of the startups we're working with, like One Qubit, a quantum computing startup, which we've partnered with Biogen, the healthcare company, to actually use quantum computing to increase the speed of drug discovery. It, it's really incredible. It takes, um, on average in the industry, it takes 10 years and a billion dollars to bring an average drug to market. And they're hoping they can speed this up significantly with, with quantum computing. So we have stations on display where you can actually go inside a quantum computer, um, where we'll use immersive technologies and walk you inside so you can actually understand and see what are the powers of quantum mechanics that enable quantum computing. Let's see, we have, uh, we have incredible leaders. So those were those were just you got two a stations. I could keep going. I love it. it, and we keep hearing about the incredible technologists that you have here. That something like I don't remember that fifteen hundred out of the six thousand patents you've you've had are coming out of the people that work in this facility. It's it's unparalleled the talent that is in this building. Um, sometimes when I walk around, I, I can almost see the you know quantum physics coming out of their brains. Um, they're just incredible. The talent that is here and the talent that we have accessible to our partners, uh, both to learn from as well as to partner with and build, because these teammates, they're, they're working on cutting edge things and they're looking for partners to explore the validity of these new concepts. So a lot of times we're partnering with clients, we're both putting some skin in the game to test these ideas. Um, and it's, it's a really exciting place to be at the intersection of business and technology, ideation and, and building solutions. Right. And you're not just doing it just for your clients, too. You had City and County San Francisco represented this morning yeah. at the ribbon cutting. And really, she talked about, and, and John talked about earlier, you know, being an active participant in the community. And that's a really important piece of the puzzle. It is an important piece of the puzzle. And we're really passionate about being a part of the San Francisco community and helping to give back in our community, as well as globally. So globally, we run a Tech for Good program where we're applying these emerging technologies to help benefit societies using things like blockchain to make logistics distribution better and more trustworthy um, for uh, companies that are delivering food to in-need populations. Um, things like using artificial intelligence built on top of Microsoft Cognitive Services to help the blind to see. Um, doing these things that are actually giving back to the world's population as well as our local population. Just in the last week, uh, we hosted a, a group of young elementary school students coming in to learn coding basics. Um, we're hosting, uh, last week we hosted 100 students uh, from an MBA program abroad. Um, so we're often hosting students, clients, partners, startups. Uh, a few weeks back, we hosted a large health tech challenge, which was really exciting. We had C-levels from some of our um, health uh, companies come in to actually judge startups um, from the Bay Area and to explore how those startups could tweak and refine their value statement and then explore opportunities to use those startups within uh, the, the judges' organizations. So, so it's a really exciting way that we're finding that um, being professionally generous, it pays. It tees up opportunities for Accenture, for our partners. We learn, they learn, and this hub is a powerful place of collaboration. Right, well, what a great asset that you have to bring to bear. It's a, it's a terrific story. Well, Ashley, thank you for taking a few minutes of your time. Yes. This party is uh, a big part for you and the team, so I hope we'll let you get back to it. And, and again, thanks for sitting down. Thank you so much. All right, she's Ashley, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at downtown San Francisco, Salesforce Tower, at the Accenture Innovation Hub. Grand opening, thanks for watching, see you next time.